by the family dump truck company. Morning, everybody. Hi, Daddy. Hey, gang. What's going on? We're just being kind. Really? Yes. You're being kind? Yes. I love that. I think that's lovely. Are you always kind? Yes. Are you always kind to your sister? Yes. All right, so which one of our viewers wants to see if Abigail wants to take her first sip of coffee? Mm, yeah, me too. Ooh. Riley too, huh? So guys, what kind of weather do we have here today? Oh my goodness, she is taking a sip of coffee. Are you serious? <laughs> All right, I was 16 years old when I had my first sip of coffee. Are you... No, 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 no. Swallow it. <laughs> you seriously just had your first sip of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess she doesn't like coffee. So anyway, good morning, friends. What a beautiful day here in Connecticut. We've got, uh, I don't see one cloud in the sky right it's now. It's just a blue day. It's, it's the second day of spring. It is. Today is the second day of spring. Yesterday was the first day. And uh, we've got all kinds of fun things on tap here for today. But uh, definitely enjoying some beautiful weather outside. Absolutely. Uh, we already made a, uh, a run this morning here to pick up some logs, which we're going to be uh, uh, dumping here in a little bit and getting over into our pile. We went to go look at a job, and uh, we even hit the scale to see how much weight we were. And uh, we'll see if we can do a little bit of a guessing game here in a little bit. But um, I'm definitely ready to have some fun outside today, and I think these guys are as well, too. But first of all, everybody remembers, go back to episode, let's go rewind. Episode six. What were we talking about last week? We had what? The leprechaun and and also we didn't catch him. <gasps> we didn't catch him. We didn't catch him again this year. Fiddlesticks. What happened? <gasps> what do you think some of the problems were with us trying to catch him this he, again this year? He uses teleportation. He uses teleportation and teleportation. Also, and also he uses magical powers where he just zoomed to get his treat out door and no treats at all and guess what we didn't catch him this year and he didn't get our trap now i'll tell you right now i've never seen more of an elaborate trap for trying to catch a leprechaun and what these guys divide they actually had a trap it's inside a trap inside so we had a trap inside of a trap so that's kind of like and, what and trap squared or trap cubed um so so we had a fort and we had a little box and and on and and on that box we had a few treats and and Abby put and Abby put the line but he didn't trip and He ate all the treats. Yeah. He ate all the treats, he left all the crumbs, and then he left a trail of goodies all over the house. He left green footprints where? In our bathroom with with green pee in our toilet again. Yep. I can't believe that. And it, so, you know what that means? He spent a penny and he didn't leave the penny. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, definitely a lot of fun in the house last week with uh, St. Patty's Day. And unfortunately, we weren't able to catch him this year. But I think we got to try and come up with some different ideas for next year. Uh, we were close, but we were close. What about a trap on the ceiling and then there's some gears? And as soon as he steps on like something, the trap falls down. <laughs> yeah. But I thought you guys didn't want to trap him to, to keep him. You guys wanted to trap him just to what? Have a little bit of fun with him? No, no. No? Can All we right. Talk well, about those kind acts. Yeah, I think it is time yeah. to talk about some kind acts. So, so, first of all, what do we got behind us here? Some logs. We do. We got a load of logs back here. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about that towards the end of the video. And but also, let's talk about our kind acts. So, I'll go first. No, I don't want to go first because it happened. So, um, when we were on our bike ride okay. today, when we were going back to well, the I, car. Well, I was on rollerblades. Yeah. And I was on a bike. Okay. And we were going back to the car, and Abby wanted to ride with me. And so I said, sure, App, I would be glad to have a partner. And so she liked it. So now, and she said, thank you, Riley. So now I wasn't there for this. So this, this all happened without an argument? Yep. Without any fighting? Nope. Without any, any, any words of, uh, of, uh, bad. of frustration? Nope. That is great. That's awesome. Uh, this is some good stuff here. Siblings getting along. Abigail, what's your, what's your story this week? Well, yesterday was the first day of spring. The first day of spring, I always put up my hammock. And Dad helped me put my, up my hammock and made me happy. And I sat in it almost all day. 
Really? Mm -hmm. That's your kind act you want to share? Yeah. Thanks, pal. Give me five. That's awesome. I did help her put up her hammock. And I did help put on your what last night? Kickstand. I put your kickstand on your bike last night? No. That was a little surprise? Yeah, I did. I put your kickstand on last night. Yes. I, I yes. thought you were talking about Abby. Oh, no, 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 no. So, my kind act for the week was uh, one day this week, whenever I got home, I decided to... To, that I would treat the kids and, and take them down for, for an ice cream. And the kids really weren't all that excited about going. Part of it was I had to go fill my truck up and I obviously have to take the kids with me because I'm the only one at home. But I thought I would take them down and get them some ice cream. And um, not that that's a kind act or anything like that, but um, I decided... What, um... Can I finish telling my story? Um, just, just, just one thing. Can I, can I finish? Just, just one thing. It wasn't ice cream. It was a milkshake. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we yeah. had to clarify that. My goodness. Yeah. Yes, very exact, exact <laughs> detail. So, not that it was anything special, taking them down for an ice cream treat, like a milkshake or something like that. But I thought if I got to go run an errand, you know, uh, I could treat the kids to a milkshake. So Abigail wasn't really all that crazy about it to begin with, but she came around to it. But I told him, I said, listen, I said, I... You don't have to I, do it. I just wanted to do it for you. That's exactly what she said. She said, Dad, just because you take us out for an errand, that doesn't mean to say that you have to take us out for a treat. And I thought that that was very mature and very lovely coming from an eight-year-old and a five-year-old as well. But guess what? I am dad and I do like spoiling them because they are great kids. So I love you guys. So uh, let's talk really quick about what we got going on here behind us. So behind us here, we've got Seven some logs, logs and right now we're, we're working a job where we're picking up logs Saturday and Sunday. We've got, oh, I don't know, probably 20 loads of logs to get, but um, uh, this is all part of our, of our uh, firewood operation, amongst other things we have going on. But uh, yesterday, I think we had a little bit of a heavier load. <laughs> so today, I decided to lighten it up just a little bit. I used a log chart. We did some estimating on what approximately we had in the back of the truck, and we thought we were right about there. We went to uh, one of the local scales off 95 locally here, and uh, we decided to put it up on the scale. And uh, our truck has uh, got a 14,000 pound GVW on it, so it's gross vehicle weight. We came in at 14.3, so 14,300 pounds. We were just 300 pounds over on our gross vehicle weight, which I thought was pretty good considering the fact that we used some, uh, uh, some means of uh, estimation, so to speak. But um, what do you guys think? Maybe we could do maybe a separate video, maybe a quick video to show uh, maybe dumping the logs not within this video. What do you guys think? Yep. No? Abigail, no. Riley, yes. No, maybe Riley. It will be a Riley and Daddy video. Yeah, a Riley and Daddy video? Okay, maybe we could try and do that. So mm -hmm. I figure it's such a nice day here. But we're maybe thinking that we maybe want to try and maybe get uh, some other videos up, try and get back to some of our our uh, our core roots of, uh, of what we do, but maybe do some shorter videos. Oh, we know some of our videos are, are longer. What? How about we wrap it up? I guess this is coming so, from the boss here. Somebody's so, trying to tell me I'm long-winded. So how about we wrap it up so we can get started on our next video? You know, something so, tells me you don't want to wrap it up. You want to go in the cab of the truck and hit the button to dump all the logs out. Of course not. That's, <laughs> That's why I want to wrap it up. All right, so listen, wrap who's going to who's gonna wrap it up? Me, um, folks, be kind of love it. Bye. That's it? Bye, well, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What's one of our most important messages? Um. Uh, uh, can I share a quick message? Uh. Um. How about sure? Um. Guys, have a great week. Enjoy the weather here today. Spring's finally here. I think summer's out the door. We parked the plow yesterday, so I, I took a chance on no more winter. But, uh, enjoy your week with your families and friends. Tell your kids you love them and give them a big hug and let them know that they're special. It's really good stuff, all right? Signing off. Bye. Bye, Bye me hearties. Bye.